I'm talking lies, deception, greed, gallbladders, missing limbs, possible stock fraud, sexual harassment, unlawful termination, lawsuits, $3.7 million in fines, dogs and cats living with each other, thieving dermatologists. everybody, my name is Lana McCarthy. I am a registered and licensed dietitian with a master's. I don't know why I just clapped just then. I was like, hey, I'm an RD and I'm licensed and I got my master's. And welcome to my channel, Let Me Learn Ya, where I share everything that I've learned because I am a obsessively geeky, constantly uncovering all the little things about histories of stuff and whatever with you so you don't have to read and you can listen to me while you're eating dinner or getting ready in the morning because who doesn't want to learn about diet companies while they're doing that maybe i need a different niche niche today we are going to be talking about a weight loss program whose name i will be purposely mispronouncing through this entire video because for some reason my brain has a mental block as to how they like to have it pronounced. It is pronounced Optavia. When you look at this word, does it, do you think Optavia is, does that, there's like an opt uh that makes me want to uh, like stop. So I'm very sorry. I'm fully aware that I am pronouncing it incorrectly, but I can't help but pronounce it Octavia. Octavia sounds more regal, doesn't it? Like regal? It's just me. One of my wonderful commenters requested that I look into this company and give my full report, so here it is. Octavia is a subset of a company that has been around for 40 years. It is a weight loss program that provides pre-made meals and I'm saying meals very loosely, while also providing health coach support and promoting healthy lifestyle behaviors and changes. Octavia claims that it is radically different from any other diet, which by the way, that's already exactly like every other diet out there right now. They all claim to be radically different because they provide physician and registered dietitian developed plans that they are recommended by over 20,000 physicians that their program guides you through a unique, gentle yet efficient way of fat burning that spares lean muscle tissue. Spoiler alert, according to their own research, that's not true. They provide Octavia coaches to help support you and guide you through this process, encourage beneficial lifestyle and health changes. Every other program does that and have been proven safe and effective via clinical trials. Noom also claims this. So again, not radically different. They have about three different programs that you can choose from depending on how quickly you want to lose weight. They have a five in one program that promotes the fastest and highest amount of weight loss. I'm only going to focus right now on their five in one program because all of their programs are basically just modified versions of that program. Depending on the amount of meals you replace with something that Octavia calls fuelings. Fuelings, according to Octavia, are nutritionally interchangeable, scientifically designed meals that can act as replacements for your regular food. All of them, from what I could gather, are highly processed, very low calorie, high protein foods that also sometimes have a prebiotic or a probiotic add to it, added to it. They are also packed with fortified vitamins. They claim to have more than 60 variations of these fuelings from shakes to granola bars, cookies, pancakes. 
I also saw like little soups. There's a chili chicken we're gonna talk about later. Because the emphasis is on reducing calories and super increasing the protein, you are going to find it very hard to eat on this program if you have a soy allergy. They put soy protein in practically everything. And if you have a food allergy or intolerance, it's probably gonna be difficult for you as well. The good news is, is that on their website, you can filter their fuelings by, do you want dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free, etc. This is something to keep in mind. Just to note, one of the cool things about Octavia is you can go to their website, you can check out all of the food items they offer so you can kind of gauge yourself is this something that i would be interested in they include all the ingredients they include all of the nutrition information so kudos to you on that octavia so let's talk about some examples of fueling so i picked out one example it is the chili lime chicken you will get six servings for thirty dollars that's about five dollars a meal now, at first, that doesn't seem too shabby. $5 a meal, it's all prepped for you, cool. Except when you factor in that this meal is 290 calories. That is a lot of money for such a small amount of calories. Just to kind of put it in perspective, a Cliff Bar is 250 calories, and it's about $1.10 to $1.30. With their bars, I just chose the Essential Chocolate Mint Cookie Crisp Bar. For $22.25, you get seven of these. That's about $3.10 per bar. Very low calorie, 110 calories. Low fat, three grams of fat, moderate pro protein at 14 carbs. It does have four grams of fiber, so that's good. 11 grams of protein. Keep in mind, this is a bar that is going to be a meal for you. First ingredient is soy protein isolate. So again, soy protein is practically in every meal they have to really get that protein up. They will be adding a lot of sugar alcohols and stevia to any of their products that are supposed to be sweet. This is in an effort to keep down the calories, but still keep that sweet factor up. And then lastly, this was my personal favorite. It is popcorn. This would be your snack item. So if you were doing the, is it the 411 plan where you do four fuelings, one lean green meal and one snack, this would be it. What I found amusing about this popcorn is it's literally just popcorn with some salt and olive oil and whatever. They didn't add anything special to it. There's not like probiotics sprinkled on top or any soy protein, nothing, just popcorn. And they charge you $11.25 for 12 grams of popcorn. First of all, you can pop popcorn yourself for pennies, okay? Just keep that in mind. But let's say you don't have the ability to pop popcorn or you don't feel like doing it. I found a bag of organic, fancy olive oil popcorn for $2 and you get double the amount of what you're getting with this popcorn. There's a theme going on here, okay? They charge you a lot for not that much. With the five in one program, you will be eating five fuelings and one what they call lean and green meal. So the lean and green meal is something you prepare on your own and they suggest that it be five to seven ounces of a lean protein, three servings of a vegetable of some sort, and then depending on the recipe, varying amounts of a little bit of fat and some condiments. They provide recipes for lean and green meals and I found one and when I tell you, <laughs> that I was emotionally and physically triggered by seeing this meal. It flashed me back to my younger days when I was doing things like slim fast and doing really low calorie drastic diets where I would be starving throughout the entire day, looking forward to my last meal at the end of the day. And it was just like this tiny, teeny sad meal where I almost felt more hungry after I ate it. You get to eat three tiny meatballs, three medium, pieces of celery. That's your dinner. That's your dinner after throughout the entire day you've been eating 110 calorie snack bars. Overall with this plan, specifically the five and one plan, you will be eating on average 800 to 1000 calories per day. That is 
too low in my opinion to safely do without the supervision of a qualified trained professional. I'm sure there's going to be a small percentage of you that's like, you know what, that's plenty of food for me and that's cool. But generally speaking, for the average public, this is not going to be enough food. Now the whole replacing your meals with shakes and then eating a sensible meal for dinner, does that sound familiar to anybody? Do I got any, 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 are there any uh, Gen X boomer friends out there who remember this? Slimfast is making a pledge. Give us a week, we'll take off the weight. One week and the weight was gone. The SlimFast plan can live up to its pledge because each shake is a delicious, nutritious, low-calorie meal. Have one shake for breakfast, one shake for lunch, then eat a sensible dinner. Stay with me, everybody. I know it's gotten crazy. Octavia claims that 90% of their health coaches were previous Octavia clients. That should be a huge, glaring, red warning flag for you. Any company that says that is probably a multi-level marketing company. Octavia Health Coaches have to pay $199 to purchase a business kit. And then with that kit, they get 12 months free to be able to use the Octavia website to sell their product. These health coaches are there to sell you more Octavia product and to convince you to become a health coach. I couldn't find anything about them receiving any type of certification or proper education on how to counsel somebody who is undertaking an extremely low calorie diet that could be dangerous. I found the document that they released in 2019 about how much their health coaches make and it's not it's not looking good guys i actually i my heart goes out to these health coaches i believe that they are victims of this company 98 percent of octavia health coaches do not make even close to a living wage around ten thousand dollars a year 78 percent earn less than five thousand dollars a year and 24 percent earn zip nothing at all they don't even make back enough to pay off the $199 that they paid to become a health coach. The whole situation with that is just me no likey. I tried to find any type of testimonial from people who had done Octavia before and worked with the health coaches. I tried to find people that had previously used the program and this is what was reported. There were people who reported that they felt that they were constantly hounded by their health coach to become a health coach. They were frequently encouraged to quit their full-time jobs to become a health coach. This one really pisses me off because it's so manipulative. There were people who reported being told that they were five times more likely to keep their weight off if they became a health coach. Their conversations with their health coach were like five minutes long mostly consisting of how much weight have you lost and are you going to become a health coach people don't seem to feel like these health coaches are supportive in any way and actually instead spend their time focusing on weight loss and converting them into the program there is a book that you can purchase in addition to all the money you're spending on the food and the program called habits of health transformational system and this book was written by Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson, who is going to take part in the historical saga of the birth of Octavia, which is a beautiful transition into the history of Octavia. <laughs> I wasn't even going to look into the history of the program. I was only going to look at the actual program and make this a short freaking review for once. But my brain had to pull on this one little thread that just unraveled an entire sweater of just lies and incompetence and greed and grossness. And I just could not stop digging. The thread that I pulled was that I kept seeing created by a physician. That was the first one that sent off the red flag, and I'll tell you why. If anybody knows about the Atkins diet, 
you probably also know that it was created by a cardiologist. When that diet came out, it was during the, the height of fat and meat are bad for you, they're gonna kill you, they're gonna give you a heart attack. So when the Atkins diet came out, it was meat and fat, that was the emphasis. Do you think that the marketing for that diet would have just said a physician made it? No. They want you to know a cardiologist made it because if anything, it would make you go, oh, well, if the cardiologist thinks it's okay and he actually designed it, then maybe there's something to it. When a company tells you something cryptic like a physician, red flags should go off in your head. There's a reason why they're not telling you what type of physician it is. And I found out why they don't tell you what type of physician it is. The other one that kept making me go, mm, red flag, is the recommended by over 20,000 physicians since the time of its founding. So I started digging and this is what I found. We have to go way, way back in time. What is known as the late 1900s to many youth of the day today is 1979, 1980. Disco was starting to die. Feathered hair was being replaced with ratting hairspray and Oprah Winfrey was the talk show darling of the talk show world. The public was unnaturally obsessed with Oprah's weight. And when Oprah came out one day on stage, looking about a third of her size and wheeling out a little wheelbarrow of fat showing how many pounds of fat she lost, the public lost their minds. And uh, see if we can get uh, 67, see what 67 pounds of uh, muinoink fat looks like, and let's put it in a wagon. That's why I did it. At the time, I felt it was important to show it in that way because I had not, I'd starved. I'd literally starved for four months or four and a half months and thought, well, Everybody's gonna to wanna to know how you lost the weight, so you might as well tell them. When she said, I did it by drinking a liquid diet shake called OptiFast, everybody flipped out and said, we need that, we need that now. This company had created a drastically low calorie diet that was just liquid diet, high protein, and it was meant to be for people who had to drastically and quickly lose weight before a medical procedure, or for somebody who was morbidly obese and had to quickly take off weight. They had strict regulations, standards, and guidelines that they would make their doctors jump through these hoops before they could give the product to their customers. And when the Oprah thing happened, the demand for this OptiFast just blew up, right? And doctors were getting really frustrated with how difficult OptiFast was making it for them to get the product and get it to their customer. I'm sorry, I meant, I meant patient. That was a Freudian slip, but in this case, it's pretty much the same thing. So there was a doctor at the time, Dr. William Vitale. He was a dermatologist. I'm going to be very clear. If I had the money, I would have a dermatologist on call, okay? I respect dermatologists. They are medical doctors and surgeons. I am not poo-pooing the field of dermatology at all. But this is what I'm gonna tell you. I would not go to a dermatologist if I needed brain surgery or recommendations to me about what I should be eating to be healthy and lose weight. They're just not trained in that. It's not their specialty. Dr. Vitali didn't see anything wrong with prescribing these Optifast diet shakes to his patients. Just think about that for a sec. What if you were getting blackheads extracted from your dermatologist and, and your dermatologist was like, you're looking chunky and I don't think that's healthy for you. So I'm gonna prescribe you these weight loss shakes. Doesn't that seem weird? Well, that's what was happening. It's madness dogs and cats living with each other. Like I said, during this boom time, he was also somebody getting frustrated with, oh, we gotta be safe. We gotta prove that we're licensed. Uh, I don't wanna do that. So what did he do? He literally copied the OptiFast formula. He made it in his kitchen 
and he called it Metafast. He didn't even try to make the name that much different. And he started selling his drink to doctors and doctors loved it because do you know what Dr. Vitali wasn't doing? He wasn't having any type of regulation up in that bish. So those doctors could get as many of those shakes as they wanted whenever they wanted. And as you'll find out later, non-doctors could do it too, didn't matter. He was selling this drink called Metafast under his company called Jason Pharmaceuticals. And if the name Metafast sounds familiar, it's because it is still a company to this day. They were huge for selling these liquid diets and everything. And it is the father company, the mother company, the mecca ship, whatever you want to call it, of Octavia. Remember how I asked my, my boomer Gen X friends if, you know, all this sounded familiar? Because this Octavia company that is, is selling a program that is basically the grandchild of the whole slim fast shake liquid diet, go on very drastic low calorie diets of the 80s, which we saw didn't work, and are now somehow making a comeback, almost as if they're hoping, just like low rise jeans, that we've all forgotten how horrible they were. And they're preying on a new generation who doesn't remember how horrible these diets were and low rise jeans and flared jeans. Dr. Vitali ended up making millions and millions of dollars for selling these shakes to doctors, buying speedboats and cars and houses, allegedly bragging at one point that he was making more money than athletes. But then in a hilarious twist, not hilarious for Oprah. I love you, Oprah, I love you. Have me on your show, seriously, let's talk. We'll talk later. In a twist that shocked everyone, except for all dietitians everywhere, Oprah regained back all of her weight and then some. And because of that, these liquid diet sales dropped drastically. Product liability lawsuits started popping up against these extremely low calorie diet companies such as Nutrisystem, if anybody remembers that one, that one really got slammed. Claims being made by customers were that they developed gallstones, gallbladder disease, hypothyroidism. One lawsuit that was actually brought against Metafast was because a man ended up losing his leg below the knee. He was a diabetic under the care of a Metafast physician who took him off all his medications and placed him on the Metafast program at 500 calories a day. The man ended up getting really sick, developing gangrene, and having to have his leg removed. With all of these lawsuits popping up, finally Congress and the FTC started sniffing around, and there was a public hearing that involved all of these low calorie diet companies, including Metafast. Here are some of the things that Dr. Vitali admitted to and shared on record. He admitted that there were no enforced regulations as to who could sell his Metafast program. He admitted that physicians were self-certified, meaning nobody checked to see if the physicians who were applying to purchase Metafast were actually physicians. When signed up, physicians could undergo a self-directed training course or go to a two-day training seminar. Now, for anybody out there who's ever been given that option at their job, which did you pick? And how thorough were you with that self-training course? Reporting of adverse effects was not required. Dr. Vitali even stated that psychiatrists are medical doctors and therefore do not require any special additional training to place somebody on a medical diet and that physicians do not require any additional training because, and I quote, physician supervision is not nutrition, it's medical science. When involved with a diet, <sighs> now listen, it is so rare, so rare that I don't even remember it ever happening that I have sided with a politician over a health professional in regards to 
a public health matter or health matter. This was one of those rare moments because the senators involved in the hearing were asking the same questions and having the same exact concerns that I or any other logical, rational human being would have about the way this diet was being executed. They expressed concerns that any medical doctor could basically be a diet doctor, which is a specialty. They were concerned that Metafast was claiming that there were no adverse side effects, while at the same time they weren't tracking or looking for if there were any adverse side effects. So how would they know? They were concerned that anybody could claim they were a physician and sell Metafast without anybody checking to make sure that that person was actually a physician. They were especially concerned with how much money physicians could make selling these products to their clients. One senator estimated that a physician could make up to $57,000 a month selling this product. Now, equivalent to today's money, that's around $120,000 a month. Let me bring back how Metafast makes the claim and Octavia that thousands of physicians recommend their product. What they really mean is that thousands of physicians were acting as salesmen so that they could benefit financially from selling Metafast product to their clients. Senators were concerned that they were collecting reports, that doctors were giving out incentives. For instance, they were offering like discount prices and buy one, get one free. If you bring in a family member to get hooked on the Metafast Kool-Aid, they were worried that success and fail rates were not being tracked. And yet Metafast kept making claims that their diet was successful and worked better than any other diet previously in the history of all time. They were also concerned that they were getting some reports that customers were being put on liquid diets for six months plus, which was in direct contradiction to the American Medical Association and the Dietetics Association's recommendations for how long somebody should be on a very low calorie liquid diet. Now, all of that sounds horrible, right? And you're like, dang, Metafest got backed into a corner. They are screwed. Nope. You would be wrong. Even with all of that and potentially putting people's lives at risk and all the lawsuits being brought against them, all that Metafast got was a slap on the wrist. The biggest problem was that their advertising was false and misleading by claiming that physicians were recommending their product, by claiming safety and efficacy of their product, and also that people selling Metafast were physicians. So they pretty much said, don't do that anymore. And Metafast was like, whatever, and went about their business. Do you think this changed anything Metafast did? Do you, do you, do you? So they're still not technically Metafast, by the way. It's under this Jason Pharmaceuticals company that is selling this Metafast product, and they're not doing too well. Sales have dropped drastically because of Oprah's regain in weight. They're facing all these lawsuits. They had to go through this public hearing, you know, with Congress and the FTC. They're just, they're dragging. On top of the product liability, lawsuits. They were also facing internal lawsuits from unlawful termination to a sexual harassment lawsuit brought against Dr. William Vitale himself. A employee claimed that she refused his advances and then he sent out an angry fax to the entire company. A fax is when you write something down on a piece of paper and you put it through this machine and it sends it off to other fax machines and people can get it. It's almost like a paper version of text for those who don't know. Telling everybody that she had a loathsome disease. So good times all around for Jason Pharmaceuticals. And they're trying to do whatever they can to bring sales back up. They started experimenting with pre-made meals. This is where the meals start coming in. That didn't work because doctors were like, what am I, a freaking grocery store? I'm not gonna provide all this crap to these people. They tried offering discounts. They laying off employees, nothing helped. They finally filed for bankruptcy in 1998. And then Dr. Vitale called it quits 
and ended up selling Jason Pharmaceuticals to a company named Healthright, which then changed its name officially to Metafast in 2001, which is now the mega parent company of Jason Pharmaceuticals and Octavia and other random stuff, but who cares? The new chairman of the board and CEO of Metafast officially and this other dude, Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson, who had previously had his own little side project of this health coaching multi-level marketing thing, came together and formed something called Take Shape for Life. It was basically a Frankenstein of Metafast products and this health coaching crap that Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson came up with and wrote a bunch of books about them. The Metafast meal replacements that Take Shape for Life uses are a powerful tool to help people reach their healthy weight and keep their life simple. These won't be short-term results. They can maintain their weight loss, but they can maintain this type of lifestyle and even pay it forward by becoming a health coach and helping other people. I know. And finally, my friends, we get to the end where they finally decided to change the name of Take Shape for Life to Octavia, and that is what we have today. In 2012, the FTC came back and was like, you guys have completely ignored everything we said. You're still making all these false claims. You don't have any clinical trials to back them up. You're still making claims about these physicians. We told you guys not to do this. $3.7 million fine, boom. So Metafast kept hearing, oh, you don't have evidence. You don't have clinical trials. So Metafast was like, oh, that's fine. We're just gonna form our own scientific advisory board and we're gonna have them test our product and perform research. We are literally going to pay scientists to perform research on our product because that's not funders bias at all. You have access to all of the research on their website and they are 99% sure that most of you are not going to look at it and you're just going to be like, oh, there's a ton of research that's backing Octavia. Well, I looked into it. One study was actually conducted on Octavia as the program is as of today. The rest of the research was conducted on Metafast, which was different and had morphed and changed throughout the years. So you can't really say that those clinical trials are backing up Octavia's efficacy. All of the research was either conducted by this scientific advisory board that works for Metafast or was conducted elsewhere with Metafast researchers conducting the research. There were multiple studies where they weren't even looking at Metafast, it was just kind of involved. For instance, one study was measuring the efficacy of a weighted vest when somebody was on a diet. That diet just happened to be Metafast. Confounding variables were introduced that totally made the data invalid. Another study looked at the effectiveness of Metafast in combination with a weight loss drug. Confounding variable. All of this research could be totally valid, but it doesn't matter to me because I already know that. I already know that if you put a human being on an 800 to 1000 calorie diet, they will lose weight in 16 weeks. My concern is what happens to those people six months to a year out? And every research study that has looked at that timeline has shown that the majority of individuals regain back that weight and then some. So all these studies prove to me is that Metafast is just as successful as any other restrictive diet program. In the short term, it does not prove to me that it is effective long term. Finally, we get to the summary. Good God, if I forget anything, I'm gonna... After thoroughly investigating this company and looking into the actual program and what you get, I cannot recommend this program in good conscience. Why? So many reasons, you guys. First of all, let's just talk about your wallet. This 
program is redonkulously overpriced. They sell overpriced, highly processed, low calorie snacks that you can literally purchase in the grocery store for way less money. I did a little investigation and I found that Slim Fast Shakes and Cliff Builders Protein Bars are almost nutritionally equal or similar to many of the items that you can purchase through Octavia. Except here's the difference. A Slim Fast Shake and a Cliff Builder Bar is around $1.10 to $1.30 a piece. The shakes and the bars from Octavia are at least $3 a pop. I could understand this jacked up price if the ingredients were phenomenal. They were fresh, maybe the meals are fresh, but they're not. It's the usual crap that's put in processed foods in the store. Soy this, rice this, crisp that. Sure, they add vitamins to it, but so does Slim Fast. Go get a freaking Slim Fast shake. I'm not recommending Slim Fast shakes. All I'm saying is if you're not gonna listen to me, go get Slim Fast shakes, cause they're cheaper. You may be saying, well, Lana, you're, you're paying extra for the health coach, you know, and the healthy lifestyle help and all that. Everything that I have read about these health coaches, they will not be helping you. They will not be supporting you. They will be trying to convert you into being a health coach and sell you more product. So basically, if you are paying extra on this food to include a health coach, you are paying extra to be advertised to by Octavia. And that's weird. Nobody pays for advertisements. You pay to remove advertisements. If the food was more expensive because you were getting a registered dietitian or even some sort of physician assigned to you to monitor your health, totally would justify it. But that's not the case with these products. Meal replacement programs are mixed in research, period. Short-term studies show efficacy in them helping people lose weight. Longer term studies show that meal replacement diet plans are not effective for two reasons. They're not sustainable and they're not realistic. You would have to continue purchasing those meals and having them delivered to you forever for you to continue to see results. The problem is, is you're trying to learn how to ride a bike without ever taking the training wheels off. And therefore, you're never gonna learn how to ride the bike unless you're learning as you're getting these meal replacements, how to cook for yourself, what's healthy, how to meal prep. You're never gonna be able to do it without the help of the delivered meal. Now, I'm not sitting here judging because I've done it myself. I completely understand if you don't have the time or you're just super stressed out or you don't even know where to start, meal replacement programs can sometimes help. But I would prefer to see a meal replacement program that delivers fresh foods, actually has some fruits and vegetables in them that gave you nutritionally balanced meals that included fat, protein, carbohydrates, fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds, things like that. And then also as you were eating these meal replacements, learning as you went how to prepare these meals on your own. That would be a thumbs up for me, honestly, not this program. The program, in my professional opinion, is not safe. Octavia is required to put a message on their website warning you about all the side effects that have been associated with their diet. Let's check that out, shall we? Tell me if this doesn't sound worrisome. Rapid weight loss may cause gallstones or gallbladder disease or temporary hair thinning in some people. Now here's my favorite part. They use the excuse rapid weight loss. It's not the rapid weight loss that causes these things to happen. It's the fact that you are literally starving yourself to get that rapid weight loss to occur. But you see how they word that perfectly? So it kind of takes the blame off of them. While adjusting to the intake of a lower calorie level and dietary changes, some people may experience dizziness, lightheadedness, headache, fatigue, or gastrointestinal disturbances such as abdominal pain, bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, or nausea. Woohoo! Consult your healthcare provider for further guidance on these or any other health concerns. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience muscle cramps, tingling, numbness, confusion, 
or rapid irregular heartbeat, as these may be a sign of a more serious health condition. No one, in my opinion, should attempt a diet such as this at a calorie rate so low unless it is medically necessary or you are doing it under the supervision of a trained health professional. This company has been founded in lies and deception and just ineptitude. Metafast and Octavia and Healthright and Take Shape for Life and Jason Pharmaceuticals just keep changing and rebranding and renaming and I think the reason why they're doing that is because people won't take the time to look into the history and find out that they're all freaking connected. You see a company rebranding and rebranding and changing, usually they're trying to run away from something and separate themselves from something bad that they did and they don't feel like just starting a completely new company. And one could argue, you could say to me, but Lana, that was so long ago. It's a different company now. Like I'm sure they've changed. And I would say, you know, I'd agree with you except for the fact that they are still doing things that show me that it's the same old, same old. They still falsely claim that clinical trials back Octavia's efficacy when the clinical trials conducted were completely funded by them. 99% of them were done on the Metafast program and a lot of them weren't even looking at Metafast. They find no fault and see no problem in allowing unqualified and untrained health coaches to guide people through a a very drastic diet that is very risky and should be under the supervision of a trained professional. They are clearly and obviously a multi-level marketing company benefiting from converting their clients into coaches and then having those coaches convert more clients into coaches. They continue to claim even after all the warnings from the FTC and after that big multi-million dollar fine, they continued to claim that 20,000 physicians recommended their product. It wasn't until 2019 that they finally changed it. I actually found the document where it was a statement to the health coaches. Hey, don't say this 20,000 thing anymore. Say thousands. So they're still making that bullshit claim. They misled shareholders, I believe, as late as 2017, 2018, that Metafast had never been sued, even though technically Metafast is Jason Pharmaceuticals, to make them think, this is totally safe, invest your money, it's cool. And they continue to sell highly processed foods, marketing them as healthy, and placing people on drastically low calorie diets with hardly any professional supervision. So this is a big fat nope for me. So overall, I would say save your money, save your time. I've talked to people who have tried this program. They lost a lot of weight. They were super happy with it and boop, all the weight came back on. If you have tried Octavia, I would love to hear from you. If you experience great results with Octavia and you love it, no, no play a hate, my friend. The most important thing to me is that people are healthy and happy and safe. And this is why I share the information that I do. I see a program like this and it has been proven in its past to not be healthy, not be safe. I look at it now, not much has changed, but there's always gonna be some people, a small percentage perhaps, that it is healthy and safe for and you you have a great experience with it and to that no judgment congratulations i'm happy for you i hope that gave you all the information that you wanted to get about octavia i need to stop this video because i've been talking way too long and i'm freaking hungry and i want to eat and i'm sick of being in front of this camera and i still have to film some other stuff <laughs> Leave your comments below if there are other types of diet programs or foods or whatever that you want me to talk about, review, investigate, let me know. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye. I hate the name Octavia. I hate it. Is it just me?